Dr. Ranganathan, what do you make of this? This blasphemy blowback, this sort of, you know, in Hindi they use a word, nazar andazi, of the so-called liberal brigade. Yeah, good evening, Rahul. Good evening to all my panelists. Uh, your primer was absolutely spot on. Uh, you know, the hypocrisy and double standards when it comes to the freedom of speech and expression of uh, Hindus and Hinduism is mind-boggling. In fact, it is institutional. And by that, I mean it is party agnostic. Just today, Rahul, police under the BJP in Jammu and Kashmir has booked three people. And one of them is the state secretary of the BJP youth wing, BJYM. And what is their crime? They posted just these five words, I stand with Nupur Sharma. <laughs> when it comes to Islam though, remember how Prime Minister Manmohan Singh on the floor of our parliament demanded an apology from Denmark for the Prophet cartoons. India yaha, Denmark maha, kare apologize karo. Remember how Ms. Sonia Gandhi publicly apologized to the Shahi Imam of Jama Masjid for those cartoons. But when it comes to Hinduism, it is a free for all. In fact, incidentally you mentioned Mr. Javed Akhtar. He is a genius, all right, in what he does. But, you know, for him, objectivity is like that belt that he has to remove when he passes through the airport security check electronic threshold. He is the guy who on Salman Rushdie's satanic verses said, you cannot denigrate someone who is respected and revered by billions. You cannot write dirty things about him. But on M.F. Hussein, he said, I stand in solidarity with M.F. Hussein, even though M.F. Hussein denigrated, you know, gods and goddesses of uh, revered by billions. I guess, uh, yeah, let's get to the philosophical point of this. I, I think, Rahul, Hindus are tired of selective targeting and hypocrisy, actually tired. Secularism is not a one-way street. If it isn't the popular discourse, the stand-up comics, the tweets mocking Hinduism, you just saw all those tweets on shivalings. The Tanishk ad or the red label ad, if you remember, where it projected a Hindu as bigoted and uh, non-accepting of his Muslim neighbor. If it isn't all those, it is done by parties like the DMK or the TMC or incidentally the Congress supposed to protect the freedom of speech and expression. Like a Mahila Congress leader making that Gaumutra jibe same as the Pulwama bomber or a Goa Congress leader terming Hindu god Parashuram as a terrorist and a rapist or a Congress mouthpiece National Herald routinely publishing hindu forming articles including one where it said Hindu epics were replete with misogyny and Me Too instances or the Congress celebrating Tipu Jayanti despite knowing he demolished hundreds of temples and converted and butchered lakhs of Hindus and who can forget that the phrase saffron terror was coined by Congress and that it wanted to pass the communal violence bill where only majority, i.e. only the Hindus would be held guilty in a communal riots even if it happened in Kashmir how many instances are there where the Congress has abused Islam? In fact, as you rightly said, it demanded hanging of Kamlesh Tiwari on the floor of the UP Assembly. Rahul, if we are talking of mainstreaming hate, why are we as a nation so scared to make public the preachings that render Abrahamic religions exclusivist and supremacist? You talk of hate and conveniently forget the hate religions preach. Let me not quote the verses here, but rather a man, quote, the Hindus are right when they say that it is not possible to establish social contact between Hindus and Muslims because such contact can only mean contact between women from one side and men, i.e. Hindus from the other, Muslims from the other, unquote, B.R. Ambedkar. So although I'm not for banning any ad, I'm a free speech absolute, I'm not for banning any stand-up comic or a film that mocks Hinduism or Hindu gods because there are so many, especially lately. It'd be a good idea though for the makers to append their creative work with a small print that says, quote, yes, we are mocking Hindu beliefs and Hindu gods because we can. And Hindus have always accepted this. We dare not mock Islam or its practices or its prophet or God. Because if we do, we'll be beheaded or killed like the Charlie Hebdo journalist. Just this simple small print, Rahul, just 10 seconds. Just this will assuage the Hindus and make the Muslims realize that we live in a country that cherishes the freedom of criticize to religion. And the punishment for apostasy in this country for being a kafir is not death. Rahul, dood ka dood, pani ka pani, cheekhne chillane se, inko abuse karne se koi farak nahi padta. Dood ka dood, pani ka pani, abhi ho jayega. Ek question se, hamare paas, we have six panelists. We have uh, Mr. Sushil Pandit, this is, there is me, there is Mr. Mohan Das Pai, uh, there is uh, Mr. Uh, Vivek Srivastava, there is Mr. Hassan and there is Mr. Memon. Just ask a simple question to all six of us. 
do you condemn the slogan gustakh e rasool ki ek hi saza sar tan se juda yes or no i say yes mohandas bhai do you condemn this slogan yes totally condemn it sushil pandit yes i do yes sushil i do pandit do you condemn this slogan mr hasan uh, not at all okay mr hasan mr hasan do you condemn this slogan no not at there all there we go not at all there we go okay mr memon mr memon do you yes. condemn this slogan not mr memon not at all not at all vivek shrivastava by, by the law okay mr no, vivek cannot, mr vivek do you condemn this slogan mr vivek yes yes mr yes, vivek yes. do you condemn this slogan it depends on who spoke it and it depends what context it depends he says who spoke it and what context this is their freedom of speech and expression i i don't sab dood ka dood pani ka pani ho gaya सारा दूध का दूध पानी का पानी हो गया गुस्ताख है रसूल की एक ही सजा सर तन से जुदा सर तन से जुदा ओके सो सो हियर वी गो सो हियर वी गो वन सेकंड वन सेकंड वन सेकंड वन सेकंड एंड आई जस्ट एवरीवन एवरीवन साइलेंट प्लीज एवरीवन फेड अस डाउन नाउ व्यूअर्स यस आई आई अपॉलोजाइज टू मिस्टर पांडे टू मिस्टर पाय एंड मिस्टर मेमन आई एम नॉट टेकिंग देयर टाइम इट्स जस्ट दैट विवेक येट अगेन मेंशन माय नेम सो कैन आई प्लीज रिवर्ट माय गुड फ्रेंड विवेक ऑन टू काउंट्स नंबर 1 विवेक यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट that ambedkar dr ambedkar who i quoted converted from left the shores of hinduism and went to buddhism you know why he also said i will not convert to islam because then the danger of muslim domination becomes real and the fact of the matter is what do we do what do billion hindus do to a man Sir, who I left their shores hinduism ha. and converted chose another religion they venerate him Sir. they gave him bharat ratna there are 65000 people who go every day to his samadhi what is the punishment for apostasy in islam you are not improving your own house you are not improving number 2 don't interrupt vivek And don't get scared by what i'm going to say no is fader don't get scared i've told you don't nizam bhai no the fader of listen. people who are speaking to each other very simple Rahul. rule of this debate Rahul. yes go ahead yes yes because it is uh, vivek vivek ridiculously brought in the context where he supports gustaf e rasool ki ek hi saza sartan se juda i want to ask him in fact i asked him this 6 months ago do you condemn the internment of 1 and 1/2 million uighur muslims in concentration camps in china that china is forcibly sterilizing them that china is feeding them pork making them drink alcohol do you condemn ask him yes or no 